Hey guys, Jerry Wetzel here, and for our next uh, installment of videos, we're going to start talking about defending against takedowns in a street encounter. It's become almost uh, cliche to say most street fights go to the ground, and it's true, a lot of them do end up on the ground. Uh, but it's, it's a very avoidable situation, and most fights, if not the majority, start on the feet. And if we want to be able to disengage, especially if there's weapons or multiple opponents, we need to keep it on the feet. So we need to not make a bunch of the stupid mistakes that people make uh, to, that end up with them hitting the mat, or hitting the floor, not the mat. Uh, so this first video, we're going to talk about some of those simple uh, mistakes that people make that we can watch out for so that that doesn't happen to us. And then in later videos, we'll get deeper into specific approaches to defending against the takedown. So a big reason that people end up getting knocked down, pushed down, or falling down has to do with posture. <coughs> Pardon me, posture. Uh, if, if he and I are in an argument, we're pushing back and forth, and people are standing, if I'm standing with my feet parallel like this, I've got no balance. So when he gives me a push, good, make it a little more, make it, make it aggressive, there we go. I'm going to be staggering backward. Now depending on what's, in, what's around me, what's in my environment, the chances I'm going to get knocked into or over something are very great. Now, if he puts... Can I push, please? I'm going to make it a little more violent. Don't punch me afterward. It's on camera. When it's a little more realistic, the chances that someone's going to get knocked down <laughs> are greater. So we want to watch for that. So in general, if I feel like things are a little bit heated and I'm not sure if this is going to turn into a fight, at the very least, I want to get my feet cheated so I have one foot back and I have a little more balance front and back. I'm not taking a fighting stance. I'm not trying to escalate this into a fight. I just need to kind of be prepared for where this might go. So first thing is get your feet in check. Second, there's a tendency for people to stand up too tall. Okay? And the problem is when he pushes me, my upper body goes back. As soon as my head goes behind my hips, I'm staggering backward. If he follows that up with punches and things like that, it's going to be hard for me to get my head back above my hips to where I can keep on my feet. So again, I end up getting knocked over. On the same note, if I'm leaning into him, if my head is inclined and we're fighting, it's easy for him to pull my head down, and again, I can end up on the ground. So those are things I have to watch for. My head position in relation to my hip. It shouldn't be behind my hips, it shouldn't be in front. Another spot where people's head ends up behind their hips is if he starts punching, and I'm trying not to get hit and I'm leaning back. When we add forward pressure, now my head's behind my hips, I'm gonna get dumped on my butt. So I need to make sure I keep this posture. My feet get, are cheated out so I have good balance and I'm kind of sitting into my hips. Not in a stance per se, but more of an athletic base. Uh, and then if I, if I have a tendency to reach with my arms or extend them too much, we run into another problem, which is I'm not controlling what we refer to as inside position, this area under my arms. So if he gets his arms underneath mine, he gets his arms around my waist, he now has access to my hips. He can pick me up, throw me, bend me backward, and take me down. So if I'm trying to talk this guy down and, and reason with him, we already know we need to have our hands up and in between us. I also want my elbows in. Okay, I shouldn't be backing him up this way or raising my elbows up. My elbows stay in. In, in a relaxed conversational posture. This way, if he comes to suddenly just do a blind tackle from here, just blitz in the eye. My arms are already in, I can start defending, and we'll get into that a little bit more in, in later videos, how to defend the takedown from that inside position. But it, as, a, as a rule of thumb, I wanna keep these elbows in. Another thing that people get into, especially people without a, a, an exposure to violence or a background in any kind of uh, combat sport, is a tendency to overcommit. They panic, adrenaline's rushing, and they start swinging with rage and fear. And it's very easy if I miss a punch here to just throw myself right onto the ground and off balance. So I need to pay attention. I want to stay in my hips. Posture is important. Uh, and we get back to that athletic base. And lastly, you know, and some I am not I'm not here to talk morality, but if you're in a place where you're drinking, or there are drugs around, or you're, you're adjusting things, any of that stuff will affect your balance. So again, you kind of have to, to understand that once you start putting chemicals in, it affects your equilibrium, it affects your balance, you're more likely to be at risk. So you kind of have to uh, take your environment into consideration when you choose to do these things, 
and know that there's going to be a compromise there should it happen. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, enjoy the article, and we'll see you in the next one.